It's your boy Dom here today. All right, today's a big day. We're gonna go uh, get some coffee, some good old Mickey D's, and then I will be heading over to uh, <sighs> the fiance's uncle's house, and then we will be getting going on the road all the way out to go Oklahoma. And then, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys in just a minute whenever I'm with him. And then I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys uh, see him. And then next time I get on, you guys will uh, will be at the uh, be at the camp. And then uh, yeah, we'll get some fishing in, get some catch clean and cook going. All right, you guys, here we go. See you in a second. There are like three or four different sections where you can fly rod only, fly rod and bait cast, bait cast, do free whatever you want to do. That I didn't hear. I just knew you could just fish wherever and do yeah. whatever. All right, what's up, everybody? Sorry about that. Uh, this is my buddy uh, Johnny. We're gonna go out to Gore, Oklahoma, and do some fishing and get it done. That's right. All right. <laughs> we gotta stop at Creek Jet first to fill up. That's what he said. He said rule number one: always make sure you fill up. I told him, yeah. Well, I don't know if you wanna <laughs> be stuck out there. That's right. It's cold. <laughs> and, yeah, it is cold here in Oklahoma. It's about, I think. 30 maybe a little below 30 degrees out here. I don't know if you guys can see me Ah, you'd be all right But uh, yeah Stop here and get some gas and then uh, we'll be back on the road getting after it So then uh, ooh, Excuse me ooh. So then uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys as soon as we get uh back on the road and uh, out there at the trout all right, everybody, we have made it out here. <clears throat> this is actually the uh, free side of Gore, Oklahoma, if you want to come trout fishing. He made it. He disappeared. There he is. There's, there's, there's Mr. Lovin. McLovin. License. Good. And no pocket for it. So it's gonna go in my front pocket. Beautiful little area, not that bad. It's got a nice. This is actually smaller than the one that I said uh, earlier. This one's not a mile and a half across, <laughs> or half a mile across. It's probably about I don't know what. That's two miles across. I can tell. Two miles across? Yep. What you think? <laughs> <laughs> So it's not two miles across. That's every bit about 20 yards, maybe 30 yards across. Yeah. Oh, 20 yards. Maybe 30. Maybe 25. No, it's, uh, we'll get down there. Maybe, maybe 30, 35 yards. 35 yards. So yeah, that's about that. All right. Get back to whenever we get some fishing done. All right, everybody. Here we go. Check this out. We got a nice little stream. Going through here, we got a nice little pocket pool. And we got that beautiful, beautiful creek out there. Such a beautiful place over here. I gotta make a trip up the hill. Uh, all right. My partner's over there, sitting on top of the bank. That's exactly what I'm about to be at. I gotta fight through all these thorns and everything first. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we have just now got out here trying to set up. <clears throat> it is very cold in Oklahoma. Very, very cold. <clears throat> it's a daisy to get through all them thorns. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I could have walked down that whole little trail. I ended up taking up that high pass right there and coming down at that big rock. I didn't even see this little area right there. I could have came through. Huh? I'm talking about the rocks in the water. Oh. And the good holes. Yeah. I'm going to get a... 
You know what? I'm just gonna drop a bait down in that. And I'm gonna cast out into this uh, stream. <clears throat> Got good flowing current. <clears throat> I'm gonna be looking forward for some uh, nice uh, soup. <sighs> All right. Well, there's a real beautiful out here, guys. Real beautiful place. Nice and quiet. You got birds flying everywhere. All right, I'm gonna get fishing. I don't know if I told you guys the last time I came out here, it was uh, with my cousin. And uh, we came out here, I was a little bit younger. I think I was about maybe 14 or 15 when I came out here. And um, we, we were at the Marvell's Trout Camp and we were at the actual campsite. This is just another part of it, but uh, we ended up leaving that area, the the campground, to go to a different uh, site, and uh, he had his Mustang at the time, and uh, <clears throat> he let me drive it. Well, whenever we were driving it, of course there was nobody on the road. It was just us, all being kids having fun. Well, he let me drive it, and I just punched it, gun, put the pedal to the metal, and. <laughs> And I, tried, and I didn't see this turtle at first until about like five seconds. So I did see him. I tried to swerve and move out of the way for him. And uh, my tire ended up lining up with the poor turtle. So, yeah, that poor turtle, he ended up, uh, he went to turtle heaven. <laughs> so that's what happened. That's one little story you guys have. One little story you guys have from me. All right. Oh, um, let me show you. So, this is the little crappie, crappie little magnet reel. The little spinner right there. There's two prongs. So we'll see if we can't get anything off of this. I am going to check on. Uh... Well, we end up getting bummed out of that. Uh this little hole so we're gonna go ahead and move on down and try to see if we can't find anywhere else see if we move on down the move on down this little river here and uh, pick up a different spot Ooh, we move through all these thorns you good bud you good I'm out here getting caught in... Okay, there we go. <laughs> My dang line was getting caught. Okay, so y'all don't know. This is the steep hill all the way down to a little waterfall. So we'll find out. <laughs> of course, only thing I ever wear is boots. Other yeah, air yachts, you know, not too bad. Got some tread on them. We'll see what happens. So, my advice to y'all, if y'all go out in the wilderness, I mean, heck, even I know this, definitely gotta have uh, hiking shoes. Hiking shoes are very ideal when you are doing this stuff. So this is what he was he was kind of fishing a little bit earlier. It does seem about three feet deep. That's not bad. Yeah, I think it's two feet there and probably three feet and a half. Yeah. Now we gotta go up another hill <laughs> as he slips. Oh man, that was a weird, very weird laugh. I am actually going to. All my fishing poles behind me so I can walk. 
Alright, well. I guess. Here goes nothing. Alright, everybody. Alright, we are back now. We're gonna try out. <laughs> Feller flying his drone around. We we're talking to some people over there about uh, another fishing spot down here. They weren't having any luck either. Uh, then again, it's still pretty early in the day, so we'll see what happens. Uh, could be about that time. It's getting a little bit warmer, so we might have some better luck. Who knows? We'll find out. But we are taking a hike down this trail, and we're gonna find out what we can get. <clears throat> It looks like it. It's moving pretty fast. That I agree with. It is moving pretty fast. So, when you have fast currents, it makes it a little bit, it makes it kind of difficult to bring in some fish. But, needless to say, good fisherman usually always has good luck. There's your little brown trout and rainbow trout. Six is the size limit. There's none on rainbow and on brown trout. Uh, got one size limit and 20 inches or longer. So that's that for Oklahoma over here in Grove or Gore, Oklahoma. <laughs> I don't know if it's like that for anywhere else, but for Gore, Oklahoma, that's what our that's what our deal is. Hey, that might look like a pretty good spot. What do you think? Especially for your fly rod. So we found a little, found a little bedding over here. What's up? Yeah. Heck, I hit, hit out there in that open area more. I got some. Oh yeah. Oh, check that out. That is insane. Got you a nice little tornado funnel. That is insane. All right, hold on there. <laughs> Take me to another world. <laughs> Time lapse. Time lapse. <laughs> hey, if it puts me into a better place where I can get some fish and eat, I'll be good. I got the... So if we do get some trout, uh, I went ahead and got me some salt, pepper, uh, lime juice, or lemon juice actually, uh, and foil. Forgot the butter though, but should be all right. Lime juice and salt and pepper is usually, salt and pepper really is, I really need to cook up a good trout. <sighs> so he's gonna fish somewhere. You gonna fish over here? All right, I'm gonna go down a little bit further. So I'm gonna head out a little bit further. And we're gonna try it out. <clears throat> Gotta hike through all these dang Woo rocks. Oompa! All right. Ooh. Hopefully they don't open the floodgates. <laughs> they open the floodgates. We got a long way to run. It's, uh, uh, it's alright if I float off in the river hopefully y'all know where I'm at more than likely you won't though it's okay <laughs> alright let's see I'm wondering if I should go down a little bit further to where that current meets and possibly slow down or it slows down a little bit you know what that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna head on down. Hey Johnny, I'm gonna head on down over here to where this current kind of connects. So, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Ooh, that rock gave out on me. Alright. <clears throat> so, anyways, um, yesterday in my videos, I mentioned, uh, Maybe a name change to the channel. 
and um, uh, if you guys had any suggestions on what I should do and maybe some of you guys might like but for the most part for what I am going to do on this channel is fishing and hunting and uh, <clears throat> Uh, some family time, you know, because family is always important. <clears throat> One thing you should always know, if you're going to cross over a stick pile, even if it's cold, always have a good practice of watching where you step. So, always check before you step somewhere. <clears throat> you don't want to get bit by a water moccasin you're all the way out here or slip on a rock or anything like that. <clears throat> You always want to look, check your steps, see if any snakes. It is cold out here, but it's still really always something to always practice even during when you're coming towards the summer areas. You want to do a bunch of the, you know, hiking. You know a bunch of the outdoor people, they want to go out and hiking and stuff like that. Or, sorry, for first time, first time people, they want to go hiking. They just don't really remember how to watch their feeding and get bit so that's a little tip here for you guys all right so this is the current that we're going to try maybe maybe we'll have a little bit better luck in this and we'll see what happens fellas we talked to earlier <clears throat> they said they didn't have any luck either and they were fishing for the same thing trout so <clears throat> We'll see. We will see what happens. All right. Give me a second. I'll be right back with you guys, and we'll get it going. <clears throat> well, y'all, that's it for the day. Just nothing's really wanting to bite. So, just going to have to end up calling it a day. It is what it is, you know? But, hey, no matter what, it's always good to get out the house and spend some time just casting out a line like my buddy over here was saying uh <clears throat> he took some vacation time from work just to you know clear clear his head from work and everything it's always good to clear your mind for a few days and take some time to yourself you know so if you guys ever get the chance or something hey even if it's even if you don't catch anything at all it's always good to get out there and get some fishing done and then my buddy just found a fossil. I don't know if it's a fossil, but it looks cool. <laughs> Taking you one little treasure home. Looks like a little pill bug maze. Pill bug maze. <laughs> well. <laughs> Except for fish. Well. That is going to do it for our trip here, y'all. So. <clears throat>